Well, guys, you guys may know that Democrat policies do not work, especially, you know, progressive Democrat policies. Now, we've done quite a few videos on progressive Democrats. I mean, we have a running series on Brandon Johnson in Chicago because his policies actually lead to more crime. The Democrat Party is a party that is pro criminal. They actually don't want to prosecute criminals, but they want to go after your police departments. Remember the whole defund the police department movement back in uh, the George Floyd days of uh, 2020. And in some cases, some of these people are saying to abolish the police. What's the old saying, guys? Your chickens, they actually come home to roost. Yeah, that is pretty much what happened now to this progressive socialist out there in Minnesota, man. And the people out there in Minnesota, what is what is your problem, man? You guys vote in Ilhan Omar, who's a radical leftist. And in this case, this is another radical leftist, guys, that actually called to abolish the police. And boy, she pretty much flipped the script now, guys, because she got really, really messed up in a carjacking. Here we go, guys. Look at this on New York Post. Anti-cop Minnesota Democratic Party official left bloodied in violent carjacking now calls for tougher crime laws. Man, it's funny what's going on with these Democrats the past few days, guys, because up there in New York City, you know, Eric Adams, who a few years back was actually saying, oh, New York, we're going to be a sanctuary city. Yeah. Now he's tr turned into a full blown MAGA Republican on illegal immigration. Now, in this case, guys, this lady, her name is very, very hard to pronounce. Um, I'm going to do my best to pronounce her name. But boy, she is a bloody mess now. Let's look at this, guys. A Minnesota Democratic former Labor Party official who once vowed to, quote, dismantle the Minneapolis Police Department is now calling for tougher crime laws after she was beaten and bloodied in a carjacking outside of her home this week. Savanti Sahanadan, the second vice chairwoman for the DFL, shared news of her attack in a Wednesday Facebook post where she fumed that four young suspects need to be brought to justice. Really? Really? This is kind of funny, man. I mean, Brandon Johnson would actually be saying, hey, let's not actually um, demonize these uh, four young individuals. You know, they just don't have nothing to do. That is the Brandon Johnson playbook, man. But uh, look at this here. She actually details her injuries here, guys. She really got messed up. Quote, I have a broken leg, deep lacerations on my head, bruising and cuts all over my body. And I have rage wrote Sahanadan, who said the beating occurred in front of her four-year-old daughter and seven-year-old son at around 7.45 p.m. Tuesday. Man, I feel bad for her kids, man. Her kids should not be seeing something like that. Uh, quote, these men knew what they were doing. I have no doubt that they have done this before, yet they are still on our streets killing mothers giving babies psychological trauma that a lifetime of therapy cannot ease. With no hesitation and no remorse, Sahanadan continued. Included in the post was a selfie of Sahanadan showing blood pouring from the right side of her face. Yeah, look at this, guys. I mean, man, she better go get that checked out. She better go get that checked out. I mean, her face looks like a hot mess. But she pushed this kind of stuff. Remember, guys, kind of funny that in 2020, she didn't want you to be safe. She wanted the police to be dismantled. And all of a sudden now, oh, now she wants some of these criminals prosecuted. You can't make this up, guys. You can't make it up. She goes on. She says, quote, I'm now part of these statistics. I wasn't silent when I fought these men to save my life and my babies. And I won't be silent now. We need to get illegal guns off of our streets. Catch these young people 
who are running uh, while creating chaos across our city and hold them in custody and prosecute them. <laughs> Boy, this is funny. This is funny. This is coming from someone that wanted to abolish the police. Quote, look at my face. Remember me when you are thinking about supporting letting juveniles and young people get out of custody to roam our streets instead of holding them accountable for their actions. Minneapolis police confirm the carjacking in Sahanadon's uh, Fowell neighborhood in a statement to KSTP. Her car was later recovered, but no suspects have been arrested. Yeah. The people in Minnesota, man, that vote for progressives, man. Yeah. And communists. You see what happens, man? Crime runs amok in cities run by progressives. Now, look what um, Shavanti Sahananan actually posted before. I believe this is back in 2020. This is what she posted. We are going to dismantle the Minneapolis Police Department. Say it with me. Dismantle the Minneapolis Police Department with a uh, clapping emojis there. As allies, what can we do right now? Listen and learn from our black siblings and then amplify this message right now in this moment. Minneapolis Police Department has systemically failed the black community. They have failed all of us. It's time to build a new infrastructure that works for all communities. If you are still disagreeing with that basic fact and then it goes on with some other stuff there. But the thing is, man, Minneapolis is run by Democrats, your party, your party. Now that the crime has come for you. Now, all of a sudden, you actually care about um, law and order, right? Yeah. And guys, not only that. The same police department that she wanted to dismantle. She's now thanking them. Look at this. Sahanadan thanked the incredible Minneapolis Police Department for assisting in the terrifying experience. A far cry from her attitude towards law enforcement three years ago when she posted online that she and other activists were, quote, going to dismantle the Minneapolis Police Department. Yeah, and that's actually from that post that um, I just read to you. I mean, my goodness, my goodness. And of course, you know, uh, Minneapolis was on ground zero for George Floyd right there. And uh, it looks like here that Minneapolis uh, Public Schools terminates contract with police department. And look at this. She actually uh, thanked the Minneapolis uh, school board members for, quote, Getting this done exactly as it should be. MPD should have no place in our children's schools. That is funny right there. That is funny. And now she's actually thanking the police department for saving her. But when it comes to you, oh, no, you can't have protection. She just wants the police to protect her and our kids. Man, <laughs> this is funny, man. This is funny. Hopefully, because I don't wish um, ill will on anybody. Hopefully, this is a wake up call for the so-called progressives. You know what? Maybe just maybe something actually happens to Brandon Johnson. I hope that it doesn't. And maybe he'll actually wake up to the crime in this city. But this man has so much crime in this city and he still won't do anything about it. But now this uh, communist out there in Minneapolis, man. Oh, boy, she got a wake up call. She got a huge wake up call, guys. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we will catch you next time.